Priapism is relatively rare overall, but you may be more likely to have it if you have certain conditions. It occurs in 30% to 45% of people with sickle cell disease. In this video, we will talk about this disease, priapism, by answering these questions. What is priapism? What are the types of priapism? What causes priapism? Symptoms of priapism. How is it treated? What is priapism? Priapism is a condition in which a penis remains erect for hours in the absence of stimulation or after stimulation has ended. There are two main types of priapism, low-flow priapism, also known as ischemic priapism. This occurs when blood becomes stuck in the erection chamber. Blood is trapped in the penis because it cannot flow out of the veins of the penis or there is a problem with the contraction of smooth muscles within the erectile tissue of the penis. Ischemic priapism is the more common priapism and requires immediate medical care to prevent complications caused by not getting enough oxygen to the penile tissue. High flow priapism, this type is caused by a broken artery that prevents proper blood circulation in the penis, causing high flow or non-ischemic priapism. This could be due to an injury. What causes priapism? Priapism occurs when some part of this system, the blood, vessels, smooth muscles or nerves, changes normal blood flow, and an erection persists. This can be caused by certain blood disorders, medications, and several other factors. Blood disorders. These disorders and diseases include sickle cell leukemia multiple myeloma, prescription medications, priapism, usually ischemic priapism, is a possible side effect of a number of drugs, including Medications injected directly into the penis to treat erectile dysfunction, such as alprostadol, caverject, edix, others, papaverine, phentolamine, or averse, and others. Antidepressants, such as floxetine, Prozac, bupropion, Wellbutrin XL, Wellbutrin Senior, Trazodone and Sertraline, Zoloft. Alpha blockers including prazosin, minipris, terazosin, doxazosin, cardura, and tomsulosin. Flomax. Medicines used to treat anxiety or psychotic disorders, such as hydroxyzine, visteral, risperdone, risperdol, olanzapine, zyprexa, lithium, lithobid, clozapine, clozril, chlorpromazine and thioridazine. Blood thinners, such as warfarin, jantovin, and heparin. Hormone testosterone or gonadotropin releasing hormone. Medications used to treat attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, a DHD such as methylphenidate, concerta, ritalin, others, and atomoxetine, stratera. Several other conditions can cause priapism, including alcohol and drug use, injury, a spider bite, scorpion sting or other toxic infections, metabolic disorders including gout or amyloidosis, neurogenic disorders, such as a spinal cord injury or syphilis, cancers involving the penis, Symptoms of priapism. The main symptom of priapism is a prolonged erection, usually lasting longer than four hours without sexual arousal or stimulation. Other symptoms depend on the type of priapism you have. If you have low flow priapism, your symptoms may also include an erect shaft but a soft tip, glands, pain that gets worse as time goes on. If you have high flow priapism, your symptoms may also include an erection that isn't completely stiff in your shaft, an erection that isn't painful. How's it treated? Ischemic priapism. The initial approach to ischemic priapism is to treat it as a true emergency. A doctor may use a needle and syringe to remove excess blood from your penis. This can relieve pain and stop involuntary erections. Another treatment method involves injecting medication into your penis. The medication will shrink the blood vessels carrying into your penis and expand the blood vessels carrying blood out of your penis. Increased blood flow can reduce an erection. Phenylephrine is the most frequently utilized and recommended as the preferred first-line agent due to its efficacy and superior safety profile. If neither of these therapies works, a doctor may recommend surgery to help blood flow through your pen. Non-ischemic priapism. If you have high-flow priapism, 
immediate treatment may not be necessary, as it often resolves on its own. A doctor may check your condition before prescribing a treatment. Cold therapy with ice packs can get rid of an involuntary erection. Sometimes, doctors suggest surgery to stop blood flow to the penis or to reprise damage by an injury to the penis. Thank you for listening to all the information we want to introduce to you in this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe for the He Info channel.